Hello everyone and welcome back to James' Minecraft Journal. This is episode 9, day 9 of the uh, uh, my LP, my single player LP which I started. And I'm just on my way back from the mountains from last episode. Mm. And I thought it would be entertaining because I'm riding a horse and it's night. So we could do some fighting on a horse and I, there's a zombie, let's go get him. See I've never... I have fought in one of these in UHC, but I've never like, never really had real bow practice. I would have to. Whoa, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> Maybe not. Or it's just my bad shooting. Whoops. All right, well, let's get out of here. Missed. Hey, 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 what are you doing in my house? Oh. Oh, he shot the horse. Alright. Oh, flippin' heck. Horse is about to die. Uh, I need to book it. Eject. And get to bed, get to bed. Oh, man. One thing I wanted to discuss is the lag here. There seems to be a lot of lag around this area. I think it could just be because of wolf flip. What I built. Oh, hold on, okay. Okay. Let's just bail. I need to get go get the horse back. So yeah, today's uh, in today's episode, which has started rather clunkily, we are going to be. Uh, Oh, well, I mentioned last episode we would obviously be doing the trying to recreate the mines of Moria in the hope of getting uh, cobble and other stone just to help this project along. Uh, but we're also good. We're going to start another project today. Uh, yeah, we're, I know we're doing lots of projects, but I actually seem to remember in the episode I scrapped last time, uh, I did mention I would prefer to have more projects going. But the project we're going to start now is a slime farm. So uh, we're going to try and um, well. I went on Admidst and I found where the near slime chunks are. Um, so I'm just going to mark them out and I'll uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I've marked out uh, four, four slime chunks. I actually had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. I had six written down, but I've only marked out four of them. And yeah, I'm just going to show you which ones they are. Uh, come to this one last. So the first one which I saw on the map was over here and I thought yes perfect this will do nicely however it is in an awkward location because oh, more lag oh wait I didn't even mark it out fully oh wait no I did because the torch is over here so the four torches signify the chunk uh, and as I go to sleep I will talk about it but basically, basically it's in a good location in terms of like being near spawn being like right under the uh, the base however it's probably going to interfere with the mob system because ideally I would like the slime spawning pads to be at level 40 or 39 I can't remember which one's the highest level for slime spawning so and the mob system's at level 40 so it would most likely interfere with the mob system and even if it didn't it would still be too low to for my liking so I think we're going to ditch this chunk uh, another alternative is over here we actually have uh, a double uh, slime chunk. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Well, here's one of the torches anyway. And here's the other one. Okay, so from that torch to this torch and then all the way down to that torch and that torch is actually two chunks, not one. And, oop, mow the grass, why don't I? Um, and that is, well that's two chunks, so that is, it's in a fairly good location, it's not going to interfere with the mob system. Uh, it's quite far away though from the base for my liking. And also, I've got, I've got a, a two chunk slime farm on the, uh, on the server, on the RSG server, but the reason I did that was partly for the fun of it, just to try it out, partly because, um, Partly because the uh, it's a server and people are more likely to use slimes 
Also, this is 1.72 where slime um, slime blocks don't exist, so I won't need slimes as much. There's also two diagonal chunks, so there's where's the torch again? This chunk here is also a slime farm, which could be good, but again, well, again, it's kind of far away. And down here, this is one as well, which is actually a lot better. It's a lot closer, but. I know. This the one over here though is the one I'm favouring. Um although again it might be too close to come to think of it. I might just have to use the double chunk double slime chunk. So this one here, from this torch, that torch, to that torch, and there's one just over the hill, I think. Um so this one's in a pretty decent location. Where's the other torch? Doesn't seem to be a fourth torch. The fourth torch should just be over here. Yep, there's no fourth torch. <laughs> That's annoying. Um, basically, the way I discover the chunks is I look at the C next to the um, the X and Y coordinates. You can see here. So C dot dot minus three, and then I look at the brackets here, and that shows we're at the zero zero part of the chunk. Uh, and then, as you see, the four the Z sorry Z is increasing until it gets to 15, then it goes back to 0. So we want to oop, mark it 0. Oh, I might have torches. That's probably why. I, just mark it with a pillar. See, so yeah, this chunk is currently the one that I'm favouring. Uh, let's see, I need to turn those off. Now the, the other issue is, will this be too close to the, uh, the mob system? We'll have to find that out now. So, if we remember the mob system's centerpiece is here, we're going to have to count uh, what, 15 blocks from the centre? So that'll be, what, 13, 1, 14, 2, 15. So here, okay, so the mob system is going to end here. So yeah, that should give us plenty of room. The other reason why I like this, apart from the fact it's close by, is that if you remember, we put the mob system, uh, like the chest for the mob system, on this side of the mob system. Therefore, um, Therefore, if the slime chunk's on this side as well, then we'll, we've got a chance of, uh, of you know, linking the two together, making it a little more closer so that we can, uh, and you know, basic, yeah, basically for ease-wise and getting down to both of them, so we don't have to do separate entrances for both. Now the chest to the mob system is, if I could just get these up again, it's uh, 195, that's 195, 196, 285. Oh, two, eight, five. So it's here. It's right on the uh, edge of the slime chunk. So, hmm. Give me a minute to think about this, and I'll get back to you. All right. So I've decided to go with this one because I think we can make it work. Uh, now, obviously, we all know the golden rule of Minecraft. It's never dig straight down, but I'm a daredevil, so I'm going to risk it. Uh, we need to get down to the level 40. I just heard someone, that's interesting. Anyway, so we're down at level 40. Uh, let's see, the chunk border. Oh, I should have checked the chunk border. I guess that's why we've got ladders to get back up. Like so. Alright. So okay, so the chunk border is there. So that's that should be the start of our spawning pads uh, right there. We don't need that anymore. So I'm just gonna dig into here. Oh we could check our mob system. If we if we get close by. So this is the start of it. Now what we need to do is dig out a sixteen by sixteen area. I think it's level forty. I'll have to check that. Yeah, give me a minute, I'm just going to check that. Alright, so it seems that um, that uh, it's at level 39, but this is okay because we'll just dig down one and make it three high because I don't think large chunks, uh, large sli slime, sorry, could fit in, um, in a too high place. Um, well, I should be recording this early, I'm actually recording it uh, 
actually no sorry it's not even that early it's just uh, I just woke up about uh, five minutes before start for, oh excuse me starting recording I've not eaten breakfast yet but uh, I felt I had to get, get this episode started because I think I'm going to be busy this evening trying to pack to go back up north uh, we need torches, that's what we need. Let's get, get them going. Come on, where is it? There it is. Hmm. So there's obvious issues with it. Oh, flip. That was a mistake, that was a mistake. Oh, come on. Alright, add that to the list of dumbest things I've done in my life. Uh that's annoying. Uh so I crashed. My game crashed, um so now I've now I've got uh I had less time to get back, hopefully my stuff's still there. All the hoppers are right next to the thing, so Why are there so many for crying out loud? Oh man, that guy's got my armor on. You know what? I'm gonna turn these guys down. Okay, got one of them. Oh, oh, there's another one. Man, there's so many. Well, uh, it's working, I guess. We don't have that much string, unfortunately. Uh, but we got a bunch of other stuff, which is good. Oh man, look at my armour. It's absolutely wrecked. Flippin' heck. Let's repair a few of these and then... Uh, okay, I'll sort that later. But yeah, look. It's looking good. We got a bunch of stuff. Obviously, there's a fault with it, but... I'm gonna have to work on that later off camera. Uh, Alright, so this is the edge of the slime chunk so we'll have to go this way and then obviously join up on the other side. Okay, so to give a quick update of where I am, we have uh, we managed to dig out these um, the perimeter of the slime chunk and basically what's going to happen is um, we're going to, well, off camera I'm just going to clear out the full, full chunk uh, and then I'm going to possibly get ready for... Uh, I'm not sure, I might clear out the full chunk and then do the the, um, the channels off camera and all that because uh, it's not really um, it's not really exciting watching that sort of stuff. That's what I'm going to do, I'm going to try decorate it as best as I can and I probably won't record again until this evening because I will be going out this uh, this day. Uh, so I will see you uh, back again this evening, although it will only be uh, like a couple of seconds for you. Alright, and I'm back. Now, this is much later in the day, and believe it or not, this is my third time of attempting to record this segment. Um, just because I there was noise in the background noise that I didn't really like, and also I wasn't happy with my commentary in that. I know I'm not professional. I I know I'm not. I don't really have much of an audience to please, but I just felt that I should at least make the best of it. Um. So yeah, a lot has changed. This is uh, many many hours later, and believe it or not, one hospital visit later. <laughs> yes, I was in in hospital this morning to see about my lung, but uh, that is that is by the by. This is what I've got cleaned out so far. Um. Now, the spawning pad I'm going to do with. Oh, we got a visitor, and we've got ourselves some loot. Awesome. Right. No, um, so the spawning pad we're going to do with grass in the middle, and obviously I don't have sick silk touch. I was about to say sick touch. Thank goodness I don't have sick touch. No, but I don't have silk touch, so I'm going to just get the grass to automatically spread down here. And it's spread quite a ways. It's still got a wee bit to go, and then it's got all of this to cover over, so hopefully that will get done. Oh, man, I hate I hate listening to that because one the noise is annoying when you hear it continuously, and two it reminds me that I've got a broken mob system. So, 
Uh, I'm just going to have to get used to it. At least for now. We'll work on it in another episode. We'll work on trying to repair it. Uh, but yeah. So we're going to have grass in the middle and it's going to be bordered by stone bricks. Now, I'm still trying to decide if I should, um, you know, what I should do with the walls. I'm wondering if I should have stone bricks in the walls or if I should... I'll decide that later off camera. Uh, basically, uh, my other concern is where to kill the slimes, because obviously we need a killing chamber for the slimes, and it's either, I think, going to be that wall or that wall, because the mob system drops are down there, obviously, uh, as we saw, and I'm planning to funnel them that way into the, an automatic sorting system, and it would be good to have the slime walls uh, filtered in two, so we need to combine the, the two drops, and I feel it would be ben beneficial if the slime killing chamber thing was close by. I think this is too close, uh, so I'm per personally I'm favouring over there, but I might, I don't know, I might do it over here, it just depends. This is kind of a project that I should wait with, in fact I, think, I might I might leave it, I might I might uh, avoid working on it until I've actually got like an underground bit um, under construction, because I'm planning to have like the, the automatic sorting system and everything down here, but I can only really do that once I finish my base. Well, not finish my base, but once we've uh, done a bit more in the base. I'll think about it. I might do a bit more in the slime farm, but it'll probably go largely unfinished, because, I mean, partly the goal with the slime farm was to collect materials in order to finish the exterior of the pyramid. And as you can see, we have we don't have an awful lot, but we do have a fair amount. If you add that in, then that bumps up the number. Uh, yeah, and this is probably going to be, a, a, I'm going to probably end this uh, in a wee bit just because uh, I am quite busy at the minute with trying to move back up to college. Like I said, it's going to be a busy period for me because I obviously have two operations to get on both my lungs and I've got to catch up on all my studies and that, so up, down, up, down in terms of um, movement for me. So it's going to be busy. That's why this episode's rushed. However, hopefully I will be, um, I can I can keep grinding them out. And this is really what this is. This is like a hobby for me. This is me posting my hobby on the internet, uh, like most people do on uh, on YouTube. One thing I should uh, note is you might notice this difference with the terrain generation and uh, whatnot. Basically, in the last few hours, I was exp well, not in the last few hours. Over the last few days, I've experienced a, a loss of lag, especially over in this area. I think we can do a bit of a test here. If I pull it up here, yep, there, there, lag, 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 lag. Yep, five frames per second. Like, I know five frames per second is what I used to record with, but not anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's laggy at the minute. It seems fine when breaking the blocks, it's just when I'm pillaring up. Yep, down to two. So weird, down to one even. Uh, almost pressed F2 there. Okay, but as you can see in that uh, F3 debug thing, I am currently using Optifine HDD5 for 1.7.2. Um, I thought that might solve it, although obviously by that, um, by that, uh, obviously you can see I, it's not solved it. Uh, another issue I have is when I walk around my base, it, it lags a bit. Now I think this is just see for example there was a bit of a lag spike there and I think this is purely because one the building is so high and I don't think my laptop's going to be able to to cope with it that well excuse me I'm just going to adjust my mic here slightly there we go so yeah the base is high and I think generally when I when I build it's going to cause some lag spikes also I think the land behind it might not render in and then when I walk around the building it suddenly renders yeah like there it just it unrendered and then rendered again, so I think it might be something to do with that. So I'm, I think it could be problems that Optifine doesn't solve. Like for example, if I log into the world right away, um, it there's, it's all laggy, like seriously laggy around my base. But then once I walk around a wee bit, like I'm doing now, frame rate's fine. Just you know, you can tell now I'm just walking around, and there doesn't seem to be too many issues. Let's see, I'm just going to take a walk through here. Yep. Go around here, that's pretty good. Oh, 360. Okay, uh, so yeah, I installed Optifine. I'm not sure how good it's going to be. 
I also went kind of over the top with the settings and I'll explain what I mean. So I'll end the episode by showing you my Optifine, I'll show you my Optifine settings and these are generally the settings I use when I, I don't use Optifine that much but when I do these are the settings. Basically most particle effects are off, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. Yep, that is fire. So as you can see it's not flickering but that means my frame rate isn't bad and it doesn't look that great but you know it's keeps my frame rate up. Watch this. See? I'm on fire, but the fire's not flickering. So, yeah. If I put the water down, water spreads out, but it doesn't flow anymore. Uh, and that honestly does help a lot with uh, with frame rate. Especially when it, uh, it goes away again. I mean, when it goes away, it does lag a little bit, because obviously it's block updates, but otherwise it's, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, so I think basically my aim for next episode, which I'll record, should I pre-record it? I'm not sure if I should pre-record it because I'm, I'm going to be traveling tomorrow. I'll, I'll think about it, but basically my aim is to, I don't think I'll finish up the slime farm just yet, but I'm going to try and work on the exterior of the pyramid a bit more and I need to get the Mines of Moria started, so watch out for that coming up soon. But hmm, for right now, uh, thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you next time, and hopefully this episode won't be late up like yesterday's was. Goodbye. See you later.